I think that's a bit low actually. If you're gonna have two. Yeah, I guess you don't want the top one to be. You want be. them to be semi-equal in the like the height. Put that one down. You want one like the Yeah, think about that. Then call back once it's in. Oh, can we move down a tad? I think that's all. Oh. Um, no, I think, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, no, actually, I think it's a bit high. You're joking. <laughs> Next fun job on the list is to neaten this section here. I'm afraid I'm not taking you out there, you're actually looking through the glass, which may be a little bit hard for the eyes because it's actually got some, as you can see, like wire through it. Yeah, we need to neaten this bit off. So just doing a little bit of wire brushing and then we're gonna paint it white um, and just ignore the black, which also needs doing, but we just wanna get this bit done so that when you walk through here, it hopefully will look a little bit nicer. Good morning. We are in our scruffs and it is a working day. Finally, we don't feel like we've been uh, doing much work recently. I don't know, it's just come to a little bit of a halt as we've been getting in quotes for the upstairs. But today we're gonna get on with some things that have been niggling at me for a while. So let me turn you around and show you. Maybe up to here, Ollie making a coffee in the back there. So we desperately need some skirting board on this side of the room in the living room. As you can see, it's missing through all of the back here, um, right the way down through the radiator and all the way through that side. Yes, we do also have some friends growing through here, which we desperately need to um, sort out. It's definitely not an issue. It's just coming through from the garden. We've got no damp, but it is, going to be ripped out I think on Tuesday. We are taking out all of the shrubbery from around um, the bay window here. I've got some temporary curtains up which mum kindly gave us. Uh, she had some Nora Ashley ones left over from previous houses. So we did also get the curtain pole up. I think I have a little bit of footage from that but I don't think these are the curtains. Well they're not going to be the curtains that stay simply because they don't go all the way to the floor. So hopefully skirting board is one of the tasks for today. It's looking pretty dark out here. I don't know if any of you will remember, but we had this inside door, which we got dipped. We didn't have it up for quite a while, but we've just temporarily popped it back on because as you will be able to see, we don't have a front door up at the moment because we're gonna be fixing that up today. So we've just temporarily got some really ugly board. We're definitely letting the street down. But I think long term, we might be changing some of the glass up in this door. We're still going to keep it Victorian looking, so I still want to keep all of these lovely, beautiful details. But I think I might go clear glass so that it lets a lot more light in. And I'll show you the hardware that we've got for the front door. Finally popped this white company mirror in, which I'm so happy about. You can see our door is really dotty because obviously we still haven't fixed that one up and we have loads of stuff to take to the charity shop. It's currently leaning off, but we're gonna be putting that. So it's gonna actually go on this step here, but we just need to fix a few of the electrics in back there. And I will show you now, it has some snazzy lights behind it. So I've got this app on my phone and we have some strip lights behind, which turn the light on. I don't know if you'll have been able to see that at all because I was definitely standing in the wrong place. But we've got strip lights all behind it. Oh, there's Ollie in our terrible dining room. Definitely want to be on this side. Yeah, so obviously I can change I can change up the colour. We do need it a little bit, I think, stronger. But yeah, Ollie's come behind me now. So yeah, we're going to put a stronger light. And this room here, I don't think I'm going to include this room. Well, I'll include it slightly, but I think I'm going to do a whole video on that one on its own as we transform it um, for hopefully, I'm thinking October is gonna be the month that one, that one gets done, but uh, you know, with renovations and DIY, they always take longer than you expect. And actually I might just run you upstairs quickly to fill you in on what's going on up there because I basically haven't shown you guys anything that's been going on recently because I've been pretty bad at the whole DIY side of things. Been just like making it homely, which has been nice, but let's go upstairs. So I think I'll insert 
some footage of us before this so hopefully you've seen us ripping down a lot of this wallpaper we've only at the moment done half of the room as you can still see we have this half to do and we have ripped out the fireplace don't worry we are going all out of focus there it is coming back or we actually have it downstairs we took it away to be stripped of all the paint and the dirt because it's not going to be used up here and i just wanted it really nice and clean and then you probably won't be able to see too much here but we have taken out let me turn the light on ooh, all of the shelving on this side and we've just been trying to visualize it here as a bit more of a bathroom so here is our lovely shower unit <laughs> um so yeah we're just trying to like figure out what size you want all of this will be like a walk-in shower so we're not going to have a cubicle so we don't have to go to a specific size we have got in a quote and a chap who's going to do our Vulex window for us over there I think I know what suite I'm going for I might show you that on the laptop in a second and we are just about deciding where to put the toilet in the sink we're still not sure on that I kind of like the idea of the toilet being there because although yes you see it as you come into the room I don't know it just doesn't feel so predominant in the room but we're gonna have to see how that goes also we're gonna have to have a sunny flow up here and we'll box it in but I just feel like it could be neater box in here rather than being smack bang it's like here's the toilet in the middle of the room oh and also I love symmetry and I kind of want to come in here and have the mirror here with two lights either side and I just feel like if it's tucked in the corner here oh, look file it probably just I don't know won't be the same so we do have one slight idea of perhaps moving the door a little bit more this way this is just like a stud fall so making this side so that the toilet doesn't seem so poked out I'm not sure we need to decide on that and hope oh, here's a room of doom hopefully this isn't too windy because in true British weather it is pretty terrible out there but we have a beautiful new roof and we got uh, the stones re-put back on there too so we have a leak free house but I reckon we are getting a little bit closer on that one and yeah let's um let's get into the jobs for today I feel like this is typical us. We start one job and create another job. But I have cleared quite a lot of stuff here. I've filled quite a few bags. So I feel like I've done my job for today. Obviously, skirting board still hasn't come up. We decided to take off this bit here to just make it really neat. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine. And then we decided, so basically I wanted to get some used towels on top of here anyway, some much bigger ones. So it was neater but we had this terrible bit along the side which was just looking so untidy so it started coming up because we did that bit there we just thought you know what let's just take it all up and see what we find and we're not quite sure what we're going to find yet but there's some cute red tiles under here so i don't know whether we need to get slate at all maybe we can keep these stand on the boards yeah, we'd have to sand, sand down the ears because they're, they're not exactly matching up with our floor at the moment. But uh, we'll keep you updated and let you know what we find. Sadly, the tiles are one in the middle section here, so we won't be able to keep those red tiles, which is a bit of a shame. I like to keep things original, but we are going tile shopping tomorrow, which is part of the reason why I wanted to see what was under here. And partly because I'm definitely already thinking about Christmas and hanging stockings here and Holly's gonna <laughs> think that I'm mad um but this was just bugging me I could see it every evening when we were sat in here and it just looks so unneat and untidy with all of these bits and how it was raised we are going to have to sand down this little section again but we'll uh, hook it up to the hoover and hopefully do it kind of neatly it does bug me that the hearth kind of section is in the middle here it looks a little bit small for the mantle i don't know how i'm gonna get around that and i i don't know i was even thinking today maybe i could paint a little section here i'm not sure we'll have to see that might just look ridiculous i think we're gonna have to sand it down first rip these tiles out find some new tiles and then make a decision on what it looks like and over here um it's been about three hours and uh <laughs> That's not yeah. fair, I've been helping you with yours. You, what? <laughs> what? What did you help with on mine? Pulling stuff out. 
pulling stuff out. Uh, yeah. He's lying. He has not helped me on mine. <laughs> he might have pulled like one little bit out there. But he has been having to measure all of this up so that it all goes kind of perfectly. And I think it takes a lot more thought than just having to rip thing out like mine. So yeah, we're getting there now. He's definitely moving faster on it and I think it'll all be up. Hopefully by this evening. <laughs> Look at this side of the room. It's just a total mess at the moment. This evening? No. Okay, there was something up this evening. Uh, the, the back bits that you're doing. Yeah, those bits might be up. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, better get going again then. <laughs> it's another DIY day for us today. We're back in the living room, but we actually did a few little bits this morning. We changed it around, let me flip around. We finally popped a light up here. We just went for something cheap because we just wanted to get something up. So the shade is from Ikea and uh, I've forgotten what you call these. What do you call these? <laughs> That's from Amazon. I'll link it below anyway. And then, gosh, block out terrible dining room again. We finally put this mirror up properly and all of the sockets behind it. So it's now sat on the top there with all of the lights behind. This is our bin shed. It looks absolutely massive. As you can tell, it's raining outside today. That one, it needs to be, uh, well, we're gonna let it dry a little bit first and then we're painting it the same color as the front door. Not quite sure when we're gonna get around to that. And then this is kind of looking sad because it did look nice. It's got dust sheets all up around it again. Ollie is back on the skirting board and poor guy, it's been kind of terrible. He's now having to sand down a board there because our floors obviously aren't that even and i also didn't have much luck here either these tiles here just do not want to come up so i think we're gonna have to get is it called the kanga to uh take those out which is just such a shame but i've ordered this morning some other tiles that will slot back into there and i think after ollie has sanded that bit i'm gonna sand this little section around here down Progress. We are getting there. All of the tiles are now out and I've part sanded this bit. I've still got this side to do and then I need to go over it and smooth it all off and try and get into the corners as best as I can. But I prefer it so much more to the big chunky slate so I'm really pleased. dark outside and we are just cleaning up hopefully pretty much dust free these sheets definitely saved quite a lot of it hoovered about a million times and i'll hoover again and the skirting board's just about half done i am feeling guilty i'm just gonna let you guys know september has been a month of renovation that i wasn't expecting i thought that we would get loads done and that we crack on with the upstairs but actually definitely being first time renovators it's been so different than i thought it would with finding the right trades people and getting in the right quotes and making sure that everything is right it's just been so different to how we did it downstairs i was just going in all guns blazing changing whatever we wanted but this seems so different um and i'm sure so many of you will understand but it's it's been hard it's been a tough month of sitting down working out figures researching i feel like we've been really busy and we've been doing loads but equally there's not been a huge amount that i've been able to get the camera out for and when we do do things it's so itty bitty that it's not like a full day so i used to get out the camera at the beginning of the day and show you guys what we were doing I try to show you guys what we were doing for the full day whereas at the moment it's been ollie will get home from work and we'll try and put up a light fixture or we'll order something online um and it's just been a little bit slower so i'm sorry if there hasn't been enough renovation bits through this video 
and I did also lose some footage, which is really annoying, um, which they, they were more, basically they were time lapses. I also had a bit of an issue this month. My original Canon uh, died because of the renovations. It got so dusty that it was auto focusing with a sound, so it kept clicking basically. I had to buy a new camera and I've been a little bit getting used to doing the renovation videos again because I'm now using two cameras, this one to talk to you guys and then another one to do the time lapses. Basically so that if it gets dusty, the camera that is already ruined is doing the time lapses and will get dusty. So I think it's just been, it's just been one of those months. It's been a funny month. But I'm gonna try and catch you up on all of the little things that we have been doing, how we've been settling in and how we are progressing with the upstairs. Right, I've come upstairs to show you. So, the bathroom. I think I've finally decided, or we have, very much throughout the whole of this renovation, Ollie picks as much as I do, and I actually let him make the deciding factor on a lot of pieces, because I want him to be as much in this home as I do, because obviously it's a joint home between the two of us. I need to put you somewhere so that I can show you my laptop. Right, so bathroom wise, we actually went back and forth a little bit, just logistics and how we were gonna fit it all in. I really, I love the traditional, modern traditional look. And then we we're thinking that we might have to go a little bit more modern because of the spacing in the bathroom. This side is a stud wall, so we could get piping in this side, whereas on this side we couldn't. And that was a bit of a deciding factor on how we laid it all out. But ultimately we have decided that everything is gonna go on this side of the room. So the toilet, the sink and the shower. Finally like made this decision and picked our towels. Although I think the bathroom is the last thing that we're gonna do. So if this changes, don't hold me to it. But this is the plan right now. So this is the little mood board that we have for the bathroom. We're gonna use the secondhand toilet. All the fixtures are gonna be chrome, so we're gonna go for a nice big traditional shower head and then some taps which are gonna be on the wall. We're gonna make our own little vanity. We've actually, it was just delivered the other day, but we have bought one of these chest of drawers for downstairs as a chest of drawers on a bit of a side note, but to also see how it was quality wise for the bathroom. And we're gonna be inserting our own sink into that, hopefully fingers crossed really want an insert with marble. We actually already have some marble and then we're gonna have the mirror with two light fixtures either side. And we've got these samples, which I'll show you in the second. And we're both thinking that this is the layout that we're gonna go for. I really like to have the symmetry. I know a lot of people don't like the toilet by the door, but I kind of feel like having not having the mirror in the middle of the room is gonna really bug me but any suggestions that you guys have on that let me know because we haven't decided fully on that one this looks a little bit pink but it's going to be marble all throughout there and then possibly a marble mosaic here and then and then the glazed subway tiles i'm a little bit unsure on the herringbone pattern as of yet because i don't know if it's going to be too busy as it goes up the wall and also on the slanted bit of the ceiling here i think i need to visualize that a little bit and the lighting is not going to do either of these justice, but we picked up some samples from Fire Earth. I used to work for Fire Earth, so I just love their stuff. And this is a little mosaic. It's a basket weave with a bit of a grey, white marble and black. And this is what I'm imagining will go in the walk-in shower, so that'll be over here. And then you'll have the big marble tiles kind of slotting into it here with obviously the little glass screen. And this is actually pretty much a tile color that when I first worked for them, I was like, I'm gonna have that in my bathroom one day. I was much younger at the time. And hey ho, I hopefully will. So these are the ones that I'm imagining inside of the shower. I wanted something with a little bit of color. It's definitely coming up a little bit gray, but it does have much more of a greeny tone to it, but it's quite subtle. So hopefully that will look nice. And then obviously you're also gonna have, I'll have a new toilet seat going on there, but a dark toilet seat with the dark vanity. So I want it to have a bit of a pop. I think sometimes marble can look a little bit cold, so I'm hoping the dark colors and this green will warm it up slightly. And we're not 100% sure, but I am hoping that we may be able to use a shower screen from the secondhand shower that we had downstairs because it came with an end, which we didn't need to use because it went against a wall. So keep your fingers crossed that we can use that because that'll be a nice money saver. I think I said earlier on in the video that we have chosen our company for the electrics that absolutely amazing so on the ball and we're having 
Um, hopefully they did say that they could do the lights down the stairs, a big drop light kind of in the hallway, and then we're also going to hopefully have some built-in bookcases in both of the bedrooms, and they're going to have lights coming down on top of them, so we just need to find some actual lighting now, which will be nice, kind of the funner parts of it. The roof's been done, which I showed you, and we finally have decided on some windows. We went back and forth, we went to see so many companies with UPVC, and then we found the absolute dream. I'm so happy that we came across this company. It's a local company who are gonna do timber double glazed windows for us at a pretty decent price. In fact, they were coming out cheaper than quite a few of the UPVC companies. So we're so amazed. I'll actually I'll pop up a picture because we went to see a window when we finally put down the deposit and gave the go ahead the other day and it was so beautiful. I, I literally couldn't stop smiling because it, it was something, I don't know why, that I was really worried about with the windows. I think at least with these, I won't feel so sad ripping out the original windows. I know that they need to go, but I, I genuinely was having sleepless nights about ripping out the windows. I was just like, I can't do it. I just, yeah, even though I wanted warm windows, I didn't want to keep them. So weird, uh, obviously how my brain works. But anyway, they're, they're really nice. And I'm thinking that um, we'll have the outside painted in like an off-white because it fits with the street. But on the inside, I might get them to just prime it or leave it because I quite like the color that they were, which was just primed and it's like a light white washed wood. And at the end of the day, if we're gonna pay to have timber windows, we might as well be able to see the timber. So they will hopefully be done at the end of October, beginning of November, fingers crossed. So that's kind of lead time that we're looking at. Uh, electrics are about the same. And then our boiler, we have finally made a decision on. I've picked the radiators. Again, I'll put a picture out. We're going cast iron, uh, graphite with brass fixtures, like the valves. And the boiler, as I explained, is definitely gonna go in that top attic space up there. And I have decided that we will definitely go for the airing cupboard on the outside of the bathroom. And in fact, I'll just show you again because I, I don't remember what I have and haven't shown you, which is a terrible thing with starting at the beginning of one month and not ending till the end. And, oh, sorry, so much stuff still left in this house. Pretty much the tank is gonna go back here. And I was thinking of sliding doors, but I think I wanna keep it original looking. So I'm just probably gonna have cupboard doors that are about half the width of that when you open them to either side, just here to be able to get to the tank and the airing cupboard. I'm not sure if this is gonna confuse matters and sorry for my very brash approach of doing this, but this is currently our bathroom. A lot of you may remember we have a toilet here and the doors to the bathroom I think is about here. In the long term, we wanna make the door come back further and this will be changed to the bathroom. The reasoning for that is because this one has a gorgeous outlook onto the garden. I feel like it's a little bit wasted having it as a bathroom. I kind of just go into the bathroom. I know you like to relax and have a bath, but I feel like this will make just as nice a bathroom. And I also feel a little bit like that room is just gonna end up getting wasted because it's a little bit dark. So come on, Laura, carry on. This will be the tank space here and the boiler will be in the attic above it. So you'll access this through the hallway here with two little cupboard doors. This will end up being a big walk-in shower. The bath will go somewhere here, hopefully toilet here and two little sinks. And let me tell you, this is where a lot of thought and effort has gone this month. Just making sure that that goes in the right place and it's all boxed in properly. Finding out that we can actually take this a little bit down so it goes to the outside. I've now run down to the living room. This is the chest of drawers. I am so unbelievably happy with it. If you guys know Swoon, then I have been lusting over a chest of drawers from Swoon that is pretty much identical to this. But the one from Swoon, I believe, is about £600. And we picked this one up for £150. I will link the website below. I think it was Furniture123. It's solid mango wood. It comes with all of these nice brass details. And it's also got brass on the feet there. Very, very impressed. So this one's going to stay in here for now. But I'm thinking that that one could also be quite nice as the vanity section upstairs. And obviously this one won't be able to be used because we'll have a sink on top here. And back to this fireplace. I am so happy that we took that 
big slate section off. I will insert a picture here because I'm not sure if I showed a before, but it looks so much more elegant now. You can see that we still need to, I've got to oil this section and I'm just deciding on tiles. So I ordered these. These three are definitely all a no. They're a little bit too gray and I'm just deciding on these two here. So it's whether to go light or dark. That is pretty much a match to the current or what was the tile that would have been there. It's in this burgundy color. I think it's just a little bit darker, maybe slightly darker. I do like that one, but I don't know whether it will be a little bit more modern to go for. Sorry, I don't know if that sounded terrible through the camera. This one here, which is picking up a little bit lighter, but it does match this section on here. And just conveniently, that one matches the wall color that we have pretty perfectly. So feeling like this might be the one that I lean towards just because it might be a little bit brighter and lighter in here. And typical me, I picked up um, lots of things because I was going to do a video on making the house all nice and autumnal. But we ended up destroying the room from this fireplace and also the skirting board. So I'm hoping that video will come at some point soon. But uh, yeah, not yet. Then excuse these spiders over here in the corner. Need to get rid of those. We put the porch light up. I'm so happy with it. Actually, I gave Ollie a few to pick from. I like picked a few off the website. So I'm walking backwards so they can turn it on for you. And, oh, not that one, that one. No, no, neither of those. <laughs> oh gosh, it shows how much I know the house. This one here, we have actually just ordered a vintage bulb to go in it, which is Wi-Fi so that we can turn it on whenever we want. It's probably a little bit low. I think it needs to be a little bit higher. But as I was saying, I let Ollie pick this one. I picked out a few and he was like, no, I want the biggest one. So I picked out the smaller version of this. So it does look a little bit big, but he liked it. And I feel like this kitchen has to be my favorite right now. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the hearth part at the bottom there painted, but I did neaten that off and paint it. And I think it just, finishes it off nicely and then the shelves went up over here too which I think really finished this space off it's looking really yellow it's such a dark day today so I have got the lights on let me switch them off probably should have filmed this earlier on in the day I keep forgetting that it is pretty much autumn and <laughs> it gets dark so quickly I've just popped a few things out there they probably won't stay up there but really now that we've put that up I really want to get some shelving up possibly over here just to finish it off a little bit. Yes, I've got a pumpkin up getting ready for the autumn season. We also had our smart meter, which you can see just there installed. I'm probably confusing you guys now. I've ran back upstairs to see if there was anything else that I missed and I did miss the flooring, which I think is the only thing that we're a little bit unsure on at the moment. We have found our engineered wood flooring for when we do the downstairs extension in like years time for the underfloor heating. And we were thinking of putting that upstairs as well, uh, planks instead of herringbone. However, it was getting a little bit confusing with making it consistent. So I wanted to make all of the woodwork in the house consistent. And originally I thought that we could change the treads on the staircase, so these bits at the top here. But we had somebody around and they said it's, it's very hard to do. You basically end up having to change the whole staircase because when they made them, uh, they like made it all together. Whereas I thought you could probably just like lift off the treads. Not the case with Victorian staircases. And so we were thinking of having like the oak engineered flooring and then it would run down and we changed the, all of the treads to oak and we'd probably change this to oak too and make it all consistent. But we can no longer do that. Uh, obviously I don't wanna change the staircase because the staircase is beautiful. It's work that doesn't need to be done. So cutting a long story short, we're now thinking of going for pine flooring upstairs because obviously all of the treads are pine we can take them back to the original pine like we have done downstairs and then it will run through all consistently color wise still not sure what we're going to do on these i'd like them to be lighter than they are so we may have to change them over because i have some kind of red wood right now which i'm not sure of so cutting a long story short we're probably going to go for new pine planks uh, which are tongue and grooves so we don't have any of the gaps because one thing that I didn't want was inconsistency and finding it hard to be able to clean. <sighs> have I just rambled at you for a very long time? I feel like I have, but hopefully you guys are all caught up on 
where we are right now. October might be a bit of a similar month, to be honest, because I think work is just gonna be starting to happen. We will need to have, by then, ripped off all of the flooring and also the wallpaper, so there is definitely work that we are gonna have to get on with. And we have also been researching how we are changing the shed so that it is watertight to put all the things in the dining room so that we can finish that room. So there still has been lots going on, but it's, uh, yeah, as I said earlier, not been stuff that we can kind of physically show you us doing. But nonetheless, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm so excited to hopefully get this upstairs done. I can't wait to live up here. I've got my fingers crossed that it might be done before Christmas, but anytime I say it, Ollie's like, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. I think he's he's trying to like calm me down on the fact that it might happen, but I'm still like, there's a chance. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully by the end of this year, this might be transformed up here. But anyway, I hope that you guys are all good and I will see you in the next one.